Every epic saga has a pivotal moment, a moment that redefines everything. Today, that moment has arrived. Welcome to Super Mega Baseball 4. For a decade, this virtual playground has been my canvas. With every edition, I've immersed myself crafting, shaping, giving life to my own teams, my own players, my own leagues. Today, we usher in a shift to the game, and you're stepping into the batter's box with me. It's time to step up and rewrite the rule book. We're going to take a deep dive into the sea of character models, new player heads, tailor making our own teams. We're not just customizing players here. We're building worlds, our own major fictional leagues. And I hope you're ready to join me in this next great sandbox series for Super Mega Baseball 4. And let us begin. But first, a dilemma. What type of league to create? To add to our conundrum, this year the developers have injected MLB Legends, baseball content creators, alongside the familiar Super Mega players into the mix. For our league, however, we'll embark on a different path. We'll sideline the Legends for now, and put the Super Mega players also on the bench, but we'll keep the content creators and put them into the limelight, along with some custom players of our own. We'll add eight more teams forming two divisions, and fill out the rest of the league with randomly generated players. But there's a twist. Some faces from my super mega history, unforgettable players, they'll make a comeback. And players born from the creative minds of my friend Nick as well. Heroes of the baseball saga we hope to spin into existence one day. You know, maybe a comic, a manga, a TV show, an animated series, a cartoon, a novel. No form is off the table. Our goal? To share those stories with the world. Now back to business. I adore my custom teams. But we need superstars to lead them to give them a new identity. There are eight teams that I've added. And in keeping with the tradition, we'll open up the roster to you. We want you in the game. If you want to be one of these superstars, here's what I need from you. Drop a comment with your player's name, your chosen position, your throwing and batting, the team you want to join, and the real life person you want your player to resemble. LeBron, Jack Harlow, Kanye, Mike Trout, the sky's the limit. This is your chance to become a part of the major fictional league universe. Now let's embark on this journey, exploring the teams that inhabit our league. In the East Conference, nestled in the closer division, we've added the Tropics, an island team just off the sunny coast of California, the Catalina Wine Mixer. If you know, you know. Next on the roster, the Wizards. They're a nod to a previous endeavor of mine, an Orlando Wizards Madden series. Consider them a spiritual successor. Swap from the gridiron to the diamond. Third in line, we've conjured the bad cats. A strange choice, you might think. But there's a charm in the sand cats that simply resonated with me. Their logo, their uniform, it's a little all offbeat, a little mysterious. I like it. Rounding out the closer division is the Presidents. This team was a joy to assemble, inspired by the enthralling series made by Finn for the win with his AI exploits. It's a must watch. And a homage to that, emblazoned on these jerseys, the word Prez. Transitioning to the West Conference, we meet the four teams that fell out our league. First up, Valley State. This team is special. It's been brewing in a story I've been penning titled One More Hit, a tale that traces the high school years of Luis Martinez, one of the greatest MLB The Show prospects I've ever encountered. And what's more, Luis and his comrades will find their way into a super mega baseball team. More on these intriguing characters shortly. Next, we have the Loggers. This team harks back to my days playing in Summer League Baseball for the Northwoods League. The lacrosse loggers, a favorite opponent of mine, served as a muse for this team. Then there's the Distinguished Apple Sox. An odd name you may ponder. Well, I had the honor of playing for the Washington Apple Sox during my summer baseball days as well. The Wenatchee area still echoes in my memories. And one of the most joyous summers I've ever had in baseball was on this team. Finally, to complete the West Conference in the minor division, we meet the Doc Crew. My chosen squadron for this franchise. Some of you might even remember the jerseys for this team. Well, I hope so. With these eight teams added, they'll stand beside the eight teams from the Creator Classic. John Boy Media, Pinsipe Strong, Girls and Co, We Got Ice, The Goat Herd, Primetime, Mashing Monsters, and the Canicorns. Our league is set, and I couldn't be happier. It was a marathon, not a sprint, but the journey was indeed worth it. All right, let's turn our attention towards the players. In crafting my fictional major league, I've given each of the eight new squads two S and A plus tier champions. Like I've said before, these names seem to find a way into every baseball narrative I've ever created. And of course, Knicks too. 
And I won't delve into every team's roster as you'll get better acquainted as the franchise series unfolds. However, I do want to introduce you to the formidable talents we'll be contending with initially in the hope of persuading you to join our ranks. Starting with the Tropics, our first player, Adrian Caldwell. Adrian is a compact powerhouse, agile, and is adept as a base runner. His rise to fame came when he clinched the Heisman Trophy. Despite this, no NFL team wanted to risk picking up a 5'7", 160-pound running back. His football career seemed over until he landed a spot in the Raiders' practice squad. However, Adrian's success got to his head, leading to a series of fumbles. Post one tumultuous season, the Raiders released him, leading Adrian to change sports and sign a free agent contract for baseball. Here begins his second underdog journey. Paired with Adrian is Puerto Rican off-speed maestro, Jose Garner. Jose has been effortlessly flinging bottle caps of Atiyah's past his friends since childhood. Life hasn't been easy for him, yet despite personal struggles, a scout spotted his impressive throwing motion and introduced him to baseball. With his filthy curveball, nasty slider, and disgusting forkball, Jose signed an international contract to play rookie ball. His main motivation? His ailing mother, whose well-being is paramount. Striking people out is just a bonus. With their unique flair, the tropics might just cause a hurricane in the league. On to the Wizards, will you encounter Flynn Miles. Once a promising first overall draft pick, Flynn found himself in a sticky situation at age 18. Despite being picked in the first round by the Yankees, they had no plans of signing him. After tearing up his letter of intent, Flynn ended up at Juco and now hopes to make a spectacular comeback in the draft. His teammate, Davey Donovan, a solitary soul comfortable with solitude on the mound, controlling the game at his own pace. His silent demeanor hides his inner drive and competitive spirit, and on the mound, he's a force to be reckoned with. Often berating players on the field for their mistakes, his 100 mile per hour fastball is enough to prove his worth, despite criticisms. Flynn and Davey, the unpredictable pair, are all set to cast a spell in the league. Moving on to the Bad Cats with their two feral players. Elijah Price, hailing from the heart of Brooklyn, is a charismatic first baseman known for his fiery energy and thunderous hits. A part-time rapper and a top prospect, LP, is swiftly rising to stardom. Accompanying him, Garrett Michelson, a boring pitcher. Michelson's parents were both involved in baseball, and his life was revolved around it since he could even remember. With his crafty off-speed pitches and a mid-90s fastball, Michelson brings a competitive spirit to the major fictional league. Expect greatness from these two. As for the presidents, they boast three top-tier talents. Lawrence Bush is an athletic marvel, equally adept as a quarterback or a pitcher. However, a personal tragedy led him to follow in his father's footsteps, striving for the major fictional league championship. Accompanying Bush is Nelson Tetsuo, a Japanese-Nigerian descendant with a defensive wizardry behind the plate, and has made him the heart and soul of this team. And lastly, the highly anticipated Jackson Springfield, an intriguing character, he's Nick's creation with a five arc story written about him. And here's what Nick had to say exactly about our good friend, Jackson Springfield. Dubbed the savior of high school sports in his hometown due to his explosion onto the high school circuit, coinciding with the scheduled termination of his school's baseball program. Springfield's on-field play inspired the local community to protest, and the We Want Jackson campaign successfully secured enough funding to support the school's next 15 years of baseball. At just 18 years old, Jackson finds himself rubbing shoulders with some of the game's all-time greatest players, yet he still remains the biggest baseball story around the world. Expect nothing short of greatness from Jackson Springfield. Exciting, isn't it? We're just warming up, my friends. And let's continue on to the West Conference, we can talk about the minor division. First up, we have the Valley, spearheaded by none other than Luis Martinez. Luis, being the celebrated son of legendary Edgar Martinez, is certainly a player who's been born with a civil slugger in his hand. As swift as he is strong, Luis has grown up with baseball as a second language and the diamond as his backyard. However, the Valley is not just a one-man army. They're also home to the talented, yet delightfully controversial, Brock Lockwood. Lockwood, a third baseman by trade, is well known for his ruthless fielding as he is for his infamous, eccentric antics. His style of play often leaves spectators in awe and his competitors in despair. Accompanying this dynamic duo is Diego, otherwise known as the Nasty Darling. The paradoxal moniker stems from his lethal pitches that have put many of a batter in their place, combined with his useful charm as movie star good looks that has won the hearts of millions of followers on social media. Moving on to the loggers, 
we have Ryan Cedillo, a player who has undergone a remarkable transformation from a formidable pitcher to a part-time outfielder. Cedillo's versatility is the greatest strength, enabling him to cover the field with an eagle-eyed precision and a cannon for an arm. Teaming up with Cedillo is Dennis Riley, an exceptional pitcher with a fastball as reminiscent of a comet striking through the sky. Riley's game on the mound is as fiery as a spirit, making him an integral asset to the loggers. On to the Apple Sox, we introduce you to Wesley Santangelo, a dual threat who excels both as a pitcher and an outfielder. Wesley's adaptive style of play is unparalleled athletic prowess and have positioned him to be a force to be reckoned with. Standing shoulder to shoulder with Wesley is Nicky Banks, known for his extensive outfield coverage and powerful batting. Banks also harbors a fierce rivalry with, with Luis. This spirited competition promises electrifying face-offs that will keep you on the edge of your seats. Finally, we turn the spotlight to my own beloved team, the Doc Crew. Here we find the local heroes, the dynamic duo, Marcus and Spencer Robinson. Space. Twins, although physically identical, are known for their individual skills. Marcus, a shortstop, brings a strategic, analytic mind to the field, orchestrating plays like a chess grandmaster. And on the other hand, Spencer, our agile center fielder, exhibits an uncanny ability to cover the grass with the agility of a gazelle. Their combined passion and fighting spirit embody the essence of the dock crew, making them key contributors to the team's triumphant legacy. Each of the remarkable players is eager to carve out their own narrative into the halls of the major fictional league. With every pitch, every swing, every game, their tales will unfold. With the teams ready, let's set the league's parameters. Aiming for a quick yet thrilling game, the league is set for a 20 game season, each game lasting four innings. Eight teams make the playoffs in a three game series each. So now, the major fictional league is set. Game one will begin in the next episode. And remember, submit your players in the comments, and we'll catch you in the next one. Until then, we'll see you. Peace.